Hey guys, I'm Jamie Adcock, also known as the Running Diva Mom. I'm a running coach and personal trainer for women with a boutique fitness studio here located in the Madison, Wisconsin area. Today I'm going to demonstrate a new no arm jiggle workout that's also going to work the lower abdominal. Um, all you're going to need today is your body weight in a set of two to three pound bells like I have here and then an open space on your wall or at your door. We are going to go ahead and get started with um, a wall exercise. We're going to do wall push-ups into tricep pulses for 45 seconds. So I want you to go to your open space here. Extend your palms out in front of you. They should be in front of the shoulders. Extend those arms fully and then place your feet hip width apart underneath those hips. Now for 45 seconds, we're going to push into those palms, tucking the elbows at our sides, pushing back and then two pulses to the back, working those triceps. Arms out in front of us, push in, tuck those elbows in, push back through the back of those palms, push in through the palms, back through the palms, and then push back, bringing those hands as high as you can behind you, working those shoulders and those triceps. Inhale into the wall, exhale as you push back, Belly button into the spine. Give me 20 seconds. Pushing into the back of those hands. Last set. All right, now we're going to go into another body weight exercise. We're going to go into forward pulses. Arms out, palms forward. We're going to pulse to the front from the side of your body to the front. Don't let those hands come back. Fingers spread nice and wide. Your core is engaged. Your belly button is pulled into your back behind you. Your glutes are engaged. Squeeze the rear together. Hold that head high. Now in 10 seconds, we're gonna reverse that motion to the back, bringing the thumbs towards the ground without resting the hands at your side. In three, two, and one, thumbs towards the ground, pushing to the back. Now we're going from the side of the body and pushing behind us. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Give me 15 seconds. Then we're gonna bring the hands down briefly. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hands come down, they're gonna come back out, palms forward, we're gonna go into some moon over-unders, over and under, over and under. Pretending there's a big beach ball out to your side, you're going up and around, down and around, up and around, down and around. Give me 30 more seconds. Turning those wrists, toning the shoulders at the top, underarms at the bottom. Got to give me 15 seconds. Breathe through the burn. Engage the core again. Belly button to the spine. Glutes are tight in the back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Give me one more. And relax. Now we're going to grab our two to three pound bells. We're going to go into alternating tricep pulses. So arms are going to be straight and we're going to be lifting from the rear up to the ceiling. Our feet are hip width apart, toes in front of the heels. We're going to bring the knees forward and then we're going to bend forward at the waist. Nice straight back, chin to the chest. Arms are straight. Again, lifting from the rear to the ceiling. So we're going to lift the back of that bell up, come down. Now turn the wrist and pulse up. Turning the wrist so that we're moving that, um, changing that movement slightly each time we lift. So back of the bell lifts, knuckles lift. Back of the bell lifts, knuckles lift. Chin to the chest, relax the neck. If you're having pain in your lower back or a pull, make sure you're bending forward at the knees with this one and that your back is nice and flat. We don't want to arch in the lower back. Belly button into the spine. Make sure you're alternating that movement with the wrist. Push up, turn the wrist, push up, turn the wrist, push up, turn the wrist, push up. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. 
and come up through those heels. Now we're gonna go into scarecrows, working the shoulders and toning those underarms some more. Feet hip width apart, elbows are at 90 degrees, knuckles at the front. And now we're gonna lift those elbows out to the side of the shoulders, lift the bells up over the elbows, bring it down and back in. Lift, lift, lower, bring it back in. Lift, lift, lower, bring it back in. No arch in your back, your belly button into the spine. Again, core and glutes are engaged. Give me seven more. Focus on all four movements here, not just going through the motions. And five, keeping that 90 degree bend, all points. Three, and we're gonna give the shoulders a little break with shoulder shrugs, two. Last one, lift, lift, lower, bring it back in. Bells at your side, let's go into some shoulder shrugs. Shoulders high, hands low. Shoulders high, hands low, shoulders up to your ears. Bells down towards the ground, high and low. Give me five and four, three and two. Last one and relax. Now we're gonna go into a split stance while we work on our balance a little bit. One leg's in front and bent, back leg is straight, back heels on the ground. Make sure your toes are in front of those heels. Now we're gonna go into three point arm curls as you have that body weight in that front foot. We're gonna have the arms out in front of the shoulders. Palms are facing up towards your ceiling and we're gonna bend, bringing those bells towards our shoulders and extend. Now come out in a V, bend and extend. Now out to the side, bend and extend. Come back forward. Elbows stay forward and high in front of those shoulders. All three points. Work on the shoulders, work on the biceps. Give me six more sets. Make sure that body weight stays in that front foot. Make sure that back heel stays on the ground. Belly button pulled into the spine. If you really wanna focus on your balance, you can try closing your eyes. Give me four more. Breathe out. Make sure those wrists stay straight and strong. Two more sets. Bend, extend, come into that V, elbows stay high. I know they won't wanna drop, don't let them. Stay focused, last set, bend, extend, bend, extend, finish it out, bend, extend, and lower. Now, we're gonna go down to the mat on our side. We're gonna do some sideline arm raises with one of those bells. Now, make sure that your lower shoulder is comfortable here when we get started. So either rest your head on your hand or you can bend the elbow and lay down here on the floor. Now we're gonna stack up the joints, stack the hips, stack the knees, stack the heels. This is too hard for you today. If you feel like you're wobbling around and your hips are coming forward or backward, you can bring the knees forward, heels at your rear. So now we're gonna start with the sideline arm raise, elbow at your hip bone. Bell starts at the floor, we're gonna come forward and up, over the hip, and then forward and down. Forward and up, over the hip, and forward and down. Lifting straight up over that hip. Try to bring that bell all the way up towards the ceiling. Give me eight more, and seven, and six, and five. Belly button into the spine, four, Breathe out, and two, last one, relax. Now, before we go up and over to the other side, we're gonna work our lower abdominals, work on our coordination. We're gonna go into some dead bugs. Legs are elevated to 90 degrees, feet are flexed, and we're gonna extend the arms up over our shoulders, palms facing um, towards our knees. Now we're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg. So. Your right leg's extended, heel comes an inch or two off the floor, left arm's fully extended over your head, palm touches the ground over your head. Come back to center and switch. Now as you do this, exhale and pull that belly button into the spine. 
as you reach. Big breath out and reach. Give me seven more each side. Then we're going to go up and over into the, um, the other side for those sideline arm raises. Six, foot stays flexed. Knees stay at 90 degrees. And four, breathe out. Don't let that heel touch the floor. Three, breathe out. Knees stay over the hips. Two, breathe out. Last set. And relax. Now we're going to lay on our other side with that bow. Shoulders should be comfortable to start. Hips stacked or the knees come forward, heels to the rear, elbow at your hip bone, bell starts at the floor. We're gonna come forward and up, lift, forward and down, relax, forward and up, lift, forward and down, relax. Squeezing that shoulder from the top um, shoulder there as you lift that bell up over your hip, belly button's pulled into the spine. Give me eight and seven. Bell comes all the way up over the torso. Six, breathe out, and four, and three, and two, last one, relax. We are done with those bells. We're going to finish out on our back. Double 90 degree slides, work on those lower abdominals, thumbs under the rear. And extend the legs, flex the feet, roll those shoulder blades underneath us, and don't let the head, neck, or shoulders lift up off the floor. Now we're going to bring those legs to 90 degrees again. Knees over the hips and hip width apart. And now we're going to try extending both heels an inch or two off the ground. Quads bring the knees back. Big exhale as you extend those legs. Don't let the heels touch the floor. Don't let the head, neck, shoulders, or lower back lift. Push everything behind you. As you exhale and extend, give me six more and then you're done. And five, breathe out. Keep that 90 degree bend. Four, breathe out. And three. And two. One more. And bring it back in. Excellent work. So that was a quick 10 minute, no arm jiggle workout that also works your lower abdominals. For a longer, stronger workout, you can repeat the routine two to three times for a 20 to 30 minute at home workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel for weekly at home workouts and exercises. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great workout.